First of all, I want to uh, uh, welcome and honor the President Sergeant uh, uh, Sal Junta and his wife Jen. Uh, we are very proud uh, that you were here in Chicago for a number of days. Uh, you truly represent uh, the best uh, of the men and women in the military. Uh, they reflect you on a daily basis, and we're very proud of all those that have served and are serving today in our military. And you do truly represent uh, the quality of young men and women that are serving our country. Uh, we're really fortunate, and, uh, and uh, our alderman, uh, Jim Belser, introduced uh, quite a number of people behind me uh, that represent just a small part of uh, the great veterans uh, here in the city of Chicago in the metropolitan area. Our Council of Veterans Affairs helps veterans continually. Uh, we believe we are the most friendliest city uh, for men and women in the military, especially veterans, because we deeply appreciate their contribution uh, to our great country. And it's really important to reflect upon their service and all the service of men and women in the history of our great country. Uh, and there is no uh, adequate way to truly thank uh, him and all the members of the armed forces, again, for the service of their nation. And there is no adequate way to honor him for his incredible individual bravery. Uh, uh, he's, he's, he's listened to this many a times, but it's important to say. He went into an open area under fire, was shot twice, brought back one soldier to safety. Then he went back out and rescued another American soldier from the Taliban. He said in an interview he thinks he's an average soldier, that anyone would have done what he did. But I believe that the strength of his character and the bravery that he has shown are unique and inspiring. Uh, I, I want to thank you for responding to your country's call. We want to welcome you to Chicago. And uh, from all of us, uh, we want to uh, wish not only yourself and your family, and to all the men and women in the military, a wonderful, healthy, and safe, and Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Uh, we thank you for your service, and it's my great honor to introduce the Congressional Medal of Honor recipient, Sergeant Sal Junta, uh, to the city of Chicago. Well, uh, first I want to say thank you to all of you guys. It means a lot to, to see you here. Um, thank you to the city of Chicago. We've been here since uh, Saturday night, and since we showed up, you know, all the doors flung open, the red carpet was laid out, and it's really been uh, an excellent experience here. Coming from Iowa, Chicago is always like our big city <laughs> that was never in our state. Um, but but it was, it's been great. We got to see the Bears play. We got to see uh, the Blackhawks play, the Bulls play. We got to eat with uh, f at the Firehouse Engine 26. Um, just, just a tremendous amount of support from the city of Chicago, and it uh, – it is truly not lost on me. I really appreciate that. Uh, I actually came here to Chicago with a buddy of mine, Staff Sergeant Perry, who was there with me the night of the 25th in October. And he was, uh, he's from Freeport, Illinois, but he says he's coming back here to the city of okay. Chicago, Mr. Mayor. So there's one for you. <clears throat> um, you know, it, it, it's strange still for me to, to stand up here and, and to talk to the cameras because uh, so, so much of everything that I feel comfortable with is, is with the guys and, and with the members um, of, the, of the military. I've never done anything alone. I've always done it with, with my brothers in arms, with, with the man to the left of me and the man to the right of me. And now to be put in this situation, uh, it feels a little bit strange. But if there's anything I can say with the position that I've been put in is just to remind the American people how amazing our men and women serving our country truly are because they go out there day in. <laughs> They're the ones that go out there day in and day out, year in and year out, and fight for the freedoms we're able to enjoy here uh, stateside. And, you know, if you don't see it and you don't remember that there's a war going on, that's, that's truly uh, amazing because that's how good they are that they take care of all the burden of the people of the United States so we can live with such freedoms. Um, it also it also brings me to you know some of some of the sacrifices that they make they don't get to come back and always enjoy this this hero's welcome and this these red carpet treatments. Um, 
and they, they sacrificed everything. They don't get to come back to their families. They don't get to come back to their loved ones, and they, they don't come back to congratulations. Um, and it's those that we truly owe all of our freedoms to. I haven't done anything compared to the people who have sacrificed their entire lives so we can have this. And it's to the, to the servicemen and women of not just Iraq or Afghanistan, but all the wars past that have given their entire lives so we can have our today. And uh, that, that's really heartfelt and meaningful to me to remind the American people that we have such people out there willing to give their lives so we can do what we do. Um, thank you to the city of Chicago again. Really appreciate it. It's been wonderful, uh, great experience. Hope it was better than New York. Awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's always an open invitation to himself and his wife to come back anytime and enjoy our city. We'd be very, very proud to have you uh, and any men and women coming with you to be guests of the city of Chicago. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.